All right, guys, today we're going to be going over misleading graphs and statistics. I'm going to be doing the odd ones. You guys have the evil ones. <coughs> As I look through this, I see that leaves you one problem to do on your own tonight. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, well, number 11 is mine to do. It says, the graph shows the height of a plant after nine weeks of growth. Why is the graph misleading? <clears throat> well, let's look at the graph to make sure that what we're looking at uh, has equal intervals. Zero to three is uh, three weeks, and three to six is three weeks, and six to nine is three weeks. So my horizontal plane, my x-axis, seems okay. Let's check my y-axis. Well, it goes up to zero to five, which is a difference of five, and five to ten, which is a difference of five. <clears throat> and then look at here, it goes from 10 to 15, also a difference of 5, but then it jumps to 25, which is a difference of 10, and then 35 and 45. So <clears throat> at this point here, everything's kosher, but uh, the minute we jump up here, uh, <clears throat> we're only taking half the steps that we used to. If two steps uh, represented it like it used to, and this was actually 25, uh, so then my line would be coming to here, and it would still look very steep. Let me make that line in there. Let's see, uh, from 15, <coughs> excuse me, it would have been from here all the way to here. Does everyone see how much steeper that looks? <clears throat> uh, so that's the reason why I would have to say uh, this graph is misleading. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I would have to say for an answer that I would put, uh, let's see, I'll shrink this up a little bit. <clears throat> Uh, the y-axis I picked up some fonts that were smaller I guess not 36 let's change it to 16 y-axis <coughs> is misleading because um uh, the height um, uh, changes from 5 to 10 uh, centimeters per unit shown. And what that simply means is every one of these is a unit. A square unit would be the square of it. <clears throat> but uh, this unit here represents five centimeters, then another five, then another five. Um, but here, it changes from five to ten <clears throat> uh, centimeters um, after uh, 15 centimeters. after the 15 centimeter mark. Okay, uh, the y-axis is misleading because the height changes from five to 10 centimeters after the 15 centimeter mark per unit shown. And that would be why that graph is misleading. Uh, 12 is yours to do. I'm gonna go ahead and run down number 13 now. <clears throat> The score Emily receives on her math test were 80, 90, 85, 100, 184. <clears throat> Why is it misleading? Why might it be misleading for Emily to say that most of the time she receives a score of 100? <clears throat> well, 
we go by three different things here. The mean, which is the average. Uh, the median, well, actually the mode. <clears throat> That's the number that you see most frequently. So uh, we're just going to put most frequent. And then there's the me median. <clears throat> And the median is simply the number in the middle. All right, so let's see what each of these are. <clears throat> First, if I take the mean, which is the average, I have to take 80 plus 90 plus 85 plus 100, plus 100, plus 84, and divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's try that in our calculator. <clears throat> All right. Uh, as I said, we're going to take these numbers here, <clears throat> put them in our calculator. Put this up here so I can see everything okay. There we go. <clears throat> oh, that was a mistake. Okay, uh, 80 plus 90 plus 85 plus um, 100 plus 100 plus 84 is 539. Now we're going to divide that by 6. <clears throat> That's 89.83. So according to the means, her average is 89.83. Repeating, <clears throat> we could round that up very easily uh, to 90 if we wanted to for a whole number. <clears throat> so uh, the means equals eh, about 90. We'll put a squiggly line here for about 90. Now let's try <clears throat> to look for um, the mode. That's the one that's most frequent. Well, out of all the numbers I see, only 100 is used twice. So the mode is the most frequent number. So I'm going to have to say the mode is 100. Lastly is the median. <clears throat> And remember, the median is the number in the middle when you put them in order. If I put these on a, all in order, I have 80, 84, 85, 90, 100, and 100. Now remember, we bounce from uh, go from one side to the other <clears throat> until we've got the middle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have to find the middle, uh, the average of 85 and 90, which is going to be about 87.5. Uh, 87.5. Now, uh, Emily says that most of the time she receives 100. If you're going by the mode, uh, you can make this statement. But let's be honest. Um, get the highlighter here. If I was to go ahead and say that, it would be kind of inaccurate because if I were to go by the median, 
and the uh, the means, they're closer to each other. They're both sitting around, well, you know, uh, 88, 89. So because my means and my medium are so far away from 100, I think it would be more accurate to say that she usually gets an, about uh, <clears throat> about an 89 on her test. All right. And uh, I guess that's all. I guess if I was going to put an answer, I'd just put um, she is only going by the mode. <clears throat> Which is 100, but she only uh, got 100 twice. <clears throat> and the median and uh, means uh, are closer in value. So they may represent a more accurate answer. Well, there's a lot of space in between there. Um, okay. All right. Oh, that's my answer. And I uh, hope that helps. Uh, good luck with number 12, and I will see you tomorrow.